Java Script is one of the most popular programming language in the world. It is versatile, powerful and essential for building dynamic and interactive web applications. But with so many JavaScript frameworks available, it can be overwhelming to choose which one to learn. That's why we have created this video. The main agenda of this video is going to find out the best JavaScript framework to learn based on its popularity, performance, job demands and community. And finally at the end of this video I will also share with you a bonus part so stay tuned and let's get started if you are a web developer you have probably heard of react js it's a javascript library for building awesome user interfaces many people call react a framework because of its capability to build large-scale web applications but the fact is that react is a javascript library that provides a set of tools and best practices for building user interfaces it's also often used in conjunction with other libraries and frameworks such as redux for state management and react router for routing and navigation. In short, React is a library but it has many third-party modules and packages which makes React very powerful and even better than a big and heavy framework such as Angular. In recent years, React has become one of the most popular and widely used JavaScript library in the entire industry. One of the reasons for its popularity is that it makes it so easy to build complex and dynamic user interfaces. React.js uses a virtual DOM which allows us to update and render the UI components, which makes the web pages load faster and be more responsive to user interactions. Another advantage of React.js is its flexibility. It can be used for building both small and large scale applications for smaller projects we don't need any additional libraries or packages and just react is enough but for large scale applications it can be integrated with other libraries and frameworks many big companies such as facebook airbnb netflix and uber are using react js as a front end technology React is used to build single page applications also called as PaaS where we have only one HTML page and many components. Therefore React apps have no loading issues while navigation. Everything you see in a React app can be a separate component and each component can have its own styling and logic which makes building React applications a lot faster and the code looks a lot managed and clean. Another performance based feature in React is the ability to use lazy loading which allows loading only the required components on demand and not loading the entire application at once. This improves the initial loading time of the application. According to Glassdoor, the average salary of a senior React developer in United States is around $150,000. There are also very high job demands for React and JavaScript developers on LinkedIn and other freelancing platforms such as TopTel, Upwork and Freelancer.com. And according to Indeed.com, the average salary of a junior to mid-level React developer is around $100,000. React.js also has a large and active community which means that if you stuck at some point then there would be a lot of resources, tutorials and support available to help you learn and use the framework. React.js is one of the best rated library on GitHub as well. Finally you might be waiting for this part and here in this part I want to tell you about one further step in your React journey and that is to learn Next.js. Now you may be thinking about what Next.js is. So Next.js is nothing but a React framework for production. It is a complete framework that has the concept of API development which means that you can use Next.js to create a medium to large scale website without any need of a backend. It also includes some of the newly and modern concepts like server side rendering and static site generation and here note that react itself is a javascript library whereas next.js is a complete framework that uses react and it also consists of features like routing and navigation already built in moreover next.js is very rich in seo which means that with next.js you can build websites that can be indexed in search engines very fast on the other hand react code is hidden on search engines which make it harder to index website in a browser now i know these words would be confusing to you if you are a beginner but at the end I recommend that you should learn Next.js also because Next.js provides you most of the features that doesn't exist in React and makes your web development journey fast, smooth and flexible. So to conclude React.js is not just a library, it's a whole ecosystem that provides a lot of tools, libraries, frameworks and best practices to build web applications. So I would say that if you are a beginner then this is the right way to get into web development. Choose 
JavaScript as your programming language, learn React for frontend and finally go for Next.js. So I hope you find this video helpful. At last, thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on web development and programming.